Hello friends and welcome to Woofboxing, the channel all about the Woofbox. It looks like Christmas came early this year as we are getting another big Woofbox update. And in this video, we are going to go over new features, changes, updates, and fixes. Starting with note priority. The Woofbox now properly tracks note priority across multiple playing notes. This was one of my biggest requests, so I am super happy that it is in. There are actually different types. I think the one that was implemented is last note, which is perfect. Uh, and what it'll allow you to do is jam out bass lines like you would on a regular mono synth. So if you have some sustain on your patch like this one, you press a key and you press another key, that new key will sound. And when you release, the last key will sound again. So you can do things like, Anyway, super fun. Also, if you're just jamming, you're not gonna get notes that would not sustain. Another thing that means is that if you have legato on your patch, it will get recorded into the sequencer. So let's check this out. We're gonna go to the pitch page. Here we go. And uh, that's speed, let's go with, uh, I don't know, three, 100%, boom. So cool, man, I am so excited about this. The next thing is some parameters can now be reset to zero during parameter setting. And you do this by clicking the encoder. Show an example of this, I'm in the sequence page, I'm just gonna click this to go to the amp page. And once you change the parameter, like I just did, now you can click the encoder to reset to zero. This is really, really nice. Next, we now have root and fifth chord follow options. On the chord follow menu in the global page, if I hold down and go past root, you now see the fifth options. More options in the chord follow menu is always welcome. The next one is a big one. We actually have a new live record mode called the erase mode. So with the current mode, you can add notes to your sequences after it loops. This mode is called dub and is the mode you'll find on most groove boxes. To use the dub live record mode, it's the same as before you hold right and press play. But you'll notice that now it says dub, so. Yeah, I can add notes. The new mode is called the erase mode. And as the name suggests, it will erase the part of the pattern you are playing over. For example, let's say we have this. And we're going to record over it. The way to enter erase mode is to hold the play button while you're holding the right button. So instead of this, which triggers dub, you hold this and there you go. So you will say C rec. See, it erased your previous pattern and replaced it with what you played. So on a short pattern, this can be a little confusing, but on longer patterns, this could be very, very helpful. So let's go to the pattern page and we are going to make a four bar pattern. Here we go. And let's just live record something. Okay. We have this pattern now and I can punch in. So it's gonna start recording as soon as I press it and then it'll record until it loops. So here we go. It erased my previous pattern completely and let me record over it. This mode is awesome if you're trying to come up with a melody or a bass line and you don't want to have to undo every time you record a sequence. Another new exciting thing is the addition of two scales to choose from, one of them being the Teenage Engineering Pocket Operator Scale. So this is awesome if you're used to jamming on a pocket operator. So the way you set scales on the Woofbox is you hold the encoder, press button 16 to go to song mode, and it's going to be on key 3. So right now it's set to major. Let's go to all the way to the end and, well, you have chromatic. Mm -hmm. 
And as a reminder, if you want lower or higher notes, you can go on the global page under and hold key two to change the transposition settings. I'm gonna leave mine at minus 12. All right, let's go to back to song mode and check out the Teenage Engineering PO scale. And if you're hearing repeating notes, make sure to go in the global page and on key four, set it to global or off, depending on what firmware you're on. Next, the sample kit patch now initializes to the last used sample kit. All right, so let's do this. Cool, we now have our sample kit. So now if I go into song mode, let me create a kick track. I'm gonna go to the global page. I'm gonna initialize this as a sample kit. There you go, sample kit. And then I can go to the patch page and initialize this kit. Boom, and now I should have the last kit that I used. Another cool addition is on the chords track. If you hold a chord, it will show the inversion. So this is the third, D major third, and this would be the root. Very cool. That way you don't have to scroll down to the menu to figure out what the inversion is. Another cool update is that the screen mirroring is now disabled by default if Bluetooth is not active. And what that means is you don't actually have to turn off MIDI mirroring if you want to sequence external synth, like I showed in my last video, because it is now turned off by default if you're not connected to Bluetooth. That is a very nice quality of life update if you're using external synth often. Then we have some new MIDI features and improvements. The Woofbox has some of the best writing and transposition tools I've ever seen on a sequencer. So using that with external synths is absolutely awesome. So this new update adds a few things. The first thing is that you can now send program changes to external synths and it is per pattern. So for example, you could have a bass patch like this one on pattern one and a different bass patch on pattern two. So as usual, you're going to need a MIDI cable and then a TRS type A adapter. All right, so first thing you'll need to do is to set the MIDI channel. So go to the global page and yeah, mine's on channel two. Let's go with this patch. Okay, so now I can play my Uno Synth Pro. Now to set the program and the banks, you're gonna go into the pattern page. And we have three new things at the bottom. This one is the program change, and these are for the different banks. So I can see that right now, I just changed patches. There you go. And this update also brings some improvements with uh, stuck MIDI notes, it should not happen. And if it does, pressing stop on a playing pattern will actually send a all note off message. Next on the MIDI improvements is the Woofbox now sends volume, filter, resonance, and panning information to MIDI. Now the default track volume is pretty high, so be very careful with this. Let's say you're programming your synth or whatever, like right now. We're just playing it. But if you hit play, it's gonna snap to the value in the global menu. So watch this, I'm gonna hit play. And now it's super loud. So yeah, just something to keep in mind. And it's gonna be the same for the filter and stuff like that. Now it might depend on your synth as well. For example, on this one, the filter resonance, uh, the filter and resonance don't work. But let's take a look at the SH-40. I think it works with all of these. So with the SH-40, I had to enter some specific data in the MSB and LSB banks. So it's uh, 88 for this one and 64 for this one. Uh, but now I can change the patch. Very cool. So with the SH-40, the volume, filter, resonance, and panning control work. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna go to the volume. Very cool. And that means you can actually use the Woofbox volume automation in song mode or live mode to affect your external synth, which is very cool. Next, we have the filter. Let's go there, check it out. Very cool. 
Again, you can use the filter automation. Resonance should work as well. Very cool, and let's check panning. All right. And it works. I love that Preston encoder reset. Now, if you find that some of these controls don't work for your synth, maybe try this in the MIDI channel menu. Go past the first 16 and there will be another 16 with a dot. This is a different format from what I understand. So maybe that will work with your synth. Then we have some bug fixes, which I will include in the description of the video. All right, well, I think we've covered everything in this update. If you have any question, please post in the comments. Special thanks to the creator of the Woofbox for this wonderful update. Thank you so much for watching and ciao, ciao.